why your brain wasn't made to handle maths. Here's a famous puzzle for you to try. In front of you are three boxes, and inside one I've hidden a £10,000 prize. There's nothing inside the other two boxes. Please, pick a box, A, B or C. Now, I'm going to take away one of the boxes that you didn't pick, and it will be one that doesn't have any money in it, so you're left with two boxes. Before I open them and reveal what's inside, here's a question. Would you like to change your selected box or do you want to stick with your original? Would switching boxes make any difference to your chance of winning? What do you think? Most people feel that changing boxes makes no difference. You picked one of three, an equal chance of winning one in three. So how can switching boxes after I've removed one make any difference? Well, the answer which may surprise you is that you should definitely switch because in fact the box you haven't picked is now twice as likely to contain the prize as the one you've got. Why? Well, it's a question of probability. There is a 1 in 3 chance that your initial pick is correct, thus there is a 2 in 3 chance that something other than your initial pick is correct. And this chance stays the same when I remove an empty box. There is still a 1 in 3 chance that you picked correctly the first time, a 2 in 3 that you didn't. I know what's in the boxes, so when I remove one, I have created a situation in which the remaining box that isn't yours has all of that 2 in 3 chance of winning. If you're confused, don't worry, you're not alone. This is known as the Monty Hall problem after an American game show host, and it has bewildered generations of readers and mathematicians since it was invented in 1975. Look it up online. Some people actually refuse to accept the answer no matter how many times it's explained. Why? Partly because thinking about probabilities and statistics does not come naturally to people. In fact, many elements of maths and statistics in particular directly contradict the rules of thumb that people have evolved over millennia for dealing with everyday problems. Because, among other things, we humans are relentlessly interested in social situations, in using simplifications, and in playing it safe. A government spends $90 million on one thing, $2 billion on another thing, $600 million on a third. What's the difference? Just hearing big numbers like this means very little to us, unless we're either experienced at dealing with big numbers or we can visualize them as shapes of different sizes. We can grasp shapes intuitively. Billions of dollars, well, we can't. Two billion dollars is more than 20 times as large as 90 million, but figures like this tend to bounce off our brains unless we're very careful. And being very careful is what it's all about. Language comes naturally to everyone. We acquire it effortlessly as children, but anything more than basic counting has to be learned laboriously and isn't mastered by that many adults. Fortunately, our brains are wonderfully adaptive organs. With care, we can master techniques that more than compensate for our instinctual inadequacies. Unfortunately, far too many people would rather go with their guts and defend their right not to switch boxes to the death even when it doubles their chance of losing.